Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this acid base plug in GMS. It's a very simple patch, but it sounds really cool and it sounds like this. All right, so let's dive into this. So let's turn off our effects. As you can see, I have this EQ up here so you can see it. Let's turn this off for now and a compressor as well. And let's turn off our effects as well. So we have reverb and then we have echo. Let's turn all those off. So let's look at our oscillator. So for the first one, I have the square retro and that's gonna be no pitch change either on the main or the fine tuning. The second oscillator is gonna be square smooth and it's gonna be up seven for the semitones and then fine tune up seven. So we're really doing the power chord type of thing. So up seven semitones. We're not going to be using a third oscillator here as you can see this volume's all the way down and the noise is also down as well. Oscillator 2 is at 46% in the mix. We're using seven voices of unison and it's full stereo. So let's dive into the filter. So the cutoff is really all the way at the top, but I boosted the resonance quite a bit at 0.43 on a low pass. And for really anything acid kind of sounding is gonna be that resonance knob is really gonna to add to it. So we have 43%. So let's say we drag this all the way down and see what that does without it. It's a cool bass pluck, but it's not necessarily acid. As soon as we bring this up, you can see the difference. And it's also gonna be keyboard tracked as well. So let's turn that off. Still sounds pretty cool, but not necessarily the right thing for this patch. Next, moving on to the envelope, we only are gonna be using one envelope. As you can see, the second one, the amount nut slider is all the way down. So our first envelope, what is it doing? So first of all, I have the invert here and it's going to the filter. The attack is gonna be Five or 0.53, the decay is gonna be 0.66, and then the amount is gonna be all the way to the top, so a full amount. So if we had it off. So this filter envelope here is a very inter or not interesting, but very important part of this sound. Again, with it off. Now with it on. Next, moving on to our LFO. LFO one is nothing and LFO two is also nothing. So we can skip this entire section here and move on to our main envelope. So our attack is gonna be a 0 0.09, the decay 0.46, the sustain is all the way to zero and the release is 0.1. Next up, let's turn on our echo. Let's see what that sounds like with it. So it's just a little bit of that high end on the back end. The filter is gonna be at, on our tooltip on the top left, it's gonna be 0.74%. And the param X, which is feedback, is gonna be 0.74, I think it was. So I'm like, oh no, 0.28. Moving on to the reverb, let's turn that bad boy on. So immediately with that reverb, and generally it's almost like a kind of breaking the rules of putting reverb on a bass sound, but you just have to be kind of careful and controlling with it so it doesn't muddy the mix. And if we turn it off, it's too clear and too in your face. A little bit of that reverb kind of makes it sound a little bit more natural as if it's actually reverberating in a certain room, not just in your headphones by itself or your speakers, whatever you're listening to or those fancy ear pods everybody has. And that's pretty much it for this patch. Like I said in the beginning, it's very simple. It's not too difficult to make, just a couple parameters you have to really keep in mind. Obviously the envelope's gonna be very important as is, as is with any sound, but the really acid kind of style is gonna be the low pass filter, a lot of resonance, and then also really getting the effects right, the echo right, and, or I don't know why that has to echo, should be delay, but we, we have, we've already went through that. And mind you, once you're playing around with GMS, a lot of these waveforms sound really cool. So I would highly suggest to kind of play with them, mix them all up and maybe use some noise. I didn't use it for this one, but 
there's a lot of cool options in GMS. Even though it's very simplistic, you can get a lot of cool sounds on it, and I do love the distortion. So like the video if you liked it, if it helped you out, and we'll see you in the next one.